Hey everyone, welcome back to another Justin's Fish Room video. Today we're at Keeping Fish Simple's Fish Room, Nick's Fish Room. There's Nick. And we got a really exciting video. It's going to be how to pair off angelfish. So as you can see here, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, these are a black angel pair. And I've been trying to pair these guys off for months since I got them. Um, and they finally started to breed properly today without fighting. They've yeah. been really aggressive and it's been tricky, so that's really exciting. Yeah, and as Nick will tell you, um, the only way that you can really sex the fish and to pair them off is to get lots of them. So we're gonna go through all of that. Uh, first thing we're gonna do though is go through all of our pairs that we have going at the moment, and Nick's pairs as well. Do you wanna go from that end? So we've got like seven types of angels. Yep. So, so yep. these are the, the smokies, right? These, yeah, the half smoky leopard angels. Yep. They're a decently cool looking fish. Yeah, the, I reckon they're really cool. Um, so even with the like, turquoise sheet on them. Yeah, they wouldn't be my favourites, but they're a cool fish nonetheless. So these are a new pair. Yep. And then some veil tail black marbles, right? Yep, so these are dark marble veil tails that I paired off. We've got two pairs of these. Um, we're still trying to prove them, but looking good so far. Yep. And then the famous KFS koi angelfish. <laughs> These are ones that I bred and paired off. The bread and butter of KFS. Basically. <laughs> I've got and too many of them. <laughs> Put them all <laughs> everywhere. All the fry tanks. There's another dark marble pair here. Yep. The black marble pair which you saw before. Another koi angel pair here. If you can see these guys. Yeah, these are just dark marbles. So these guys are a proven pair, and they've been spawning every week for me, which is great. This is the aggressive pair, hey? No, these aren't the aggressive pair. Oh, okay. There was the, the black angels were the aggressive ones. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. So, yes. And then, if you do follow my Instagram, you'll know that we've been trying to prove these guys at um, my fish room. These are the panda pearl scales. And this is actually a pair that have laid a batch of over 200 eggs, uh, most of which are fertile. So, finally got these at KFS ready to breed. Hopefully. And then my OG pair of pearl scales, golden pearl scale marbles. And <laughs> they were breeding very well in my community tank, and now they're, they're just, just taking, taking a break, which is normal. They do take breaks. Yeah. And they'll grow and they'll breed really, really, really like heaps and then they'll take another break, so. Yeah, but since they've been here they've grown so much. They've grown, so they've spent a, little, a lot of time growing and they've been picking at the slate and all that kind of stuff, so it's just a matter of time. I think so. I think um, so. We've also got some Altum angelfish down here which we've been trying to prove and pair them off, but um, they keep breeding, like you can see that females there on some eggs, but they keep breeding and then getting angry at each other, like the pairs, and then yeah, that's just a nightmare. I think we should show everyone how many fry that you have here at KFS. Yeah, so we've got this whole tank full of uh, these koi angels, then some more koi and pearl scale grubs, and then these are black angels, right? No, these are dark marbles and altums. Yeah. Alt altums. <laughs> the Peruvian altums. And yeah, so Nick's combined the two, so yeah. And then... More Altums up here. Heaps of Altums. Some... Koi... These are Koi's, right? Yeah. yeah. Koi's. And then... So this is one of the first um, tanks that when you walk into the room where Nick's got a bunch of the same strain of angelfish all put together to try and get some pairs. And you can already see there's a male a dominant male there and um, you can tell by the forehead so when they've got that lump on their head like a big meaty head that's normally a male so that would be a female in the back there I'd say in the middle of the screen yeah. and then if you look at that one there in the middle of the screen the one off the back that's a male so that's the best way to tell but you can't really tell until they breed yeah I guess like the dominant pair it's like um, like early on with uh, certain wolf sequence as well you get that, that dominant pair. Only the dominant pair you can really, really tell. The rest of them, you know. So the process is basically we start with the, the premium, like the best way to get a pair is to either buy a pair proven. Yeah. So you've seen they've got the eggs. 
or to pair them off yourself. So the first step when you want to pair them off yourself is you need to get six angels. Now, six is a good number yeah. because it kind of ensures that you'll get um, some males and some females in a mix. One thing I would suggest, uh, just a little tip on the side, if you are wanting to breed uh, good quality angels, it's probably best to get the same color strain from two different breeders. So do three from one breeder, three from the other, or from one pet shop and get the others from another. Because you want to try keep the bloodline not too bottlenecked. Exactly. Because culling is a huge problem with, with angels, angels. Yeah, especially because they got such finicky fins and all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah, so it's good to try and minimize that. So you can get the angel pairs. Now a lot of people think they're pair for life, and I've probably said it in a million videos in the, in the past, and that's just not true. Nah. Like, they're not as intelligent as Discus and things like that, and they actually will swap pairs all the time. Yeah. Um, I mean, like with my pearl scales, yeah. I had two females and a male, and when one with one female was ready, he would lay eggs with that one. When she was finished, lay eggs with the, with the male again. So, so, I guess it's all about trying to get, like, if you're trying to get a pair right, because you could just do that. So, what was I even saying? Like, this is the process. So, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Have a look at the other. Yeah, the tanks. We'll have a quick look at these tanks. So, here are the platinum angels. Um, Nick's currently trying to pair these off, but I don't think that the... They're not at the same age yet. Yeah, so these have a bit of growing to do. So what we were talking about is the, um, is that they, like, they don't pair off for life. They can actually swap pairs, so you don't need to start with juvenile angelfish. You can actually go and you can buy a bunch of adults and leave them in a tank and they will pair off. Yeah. I think there's a few things you consider when you're trying to pair off angels. If you have a lot of money and you just want to like get um, some results straight away, a proven breeding pair is probably the best way to go. If you don't want to spend too much money and you want to watch them grow, um, which to me is more rewarding, then get a small group of angels and do it that way. Yep. And then you can always, like Nick said, get a bunch of adults um, and try it kick out males and females. I guess the best way to do it is to get six juveniles, six little young'uns, throw them in a tank, grow them up, and then they'll pair off. And once they pair off and breed, you take that pair and you put it in another tank and you've got your pair. So that's how we've ended up with all the other pairs. So you can see yeah. we've been doing pair testing here. And down here, the more we've got like another pair of dark marbles it looks like in the back down here. Yeah, these guys are so cool. I love these guys. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. So, I guess, that's the process, it's not, nothing too tricky. Yeah. Uh, another thing we need to do sometimes is we will actually pick out a pair that's bred, and just because they're bred doesn't mean they're proven. Sometimes when we pick them out and they breed, and then we put them in another tank, um, what can happen is the pair will breed, and you, you might do something or the pair might do something wrong, like they'll eat the eggs, and the pair will turn, yeah. and they'll get angry at each other, and then that's a bad pair, so that's not a proven pair. They probably won't breed again. I mean, a lot of people might disagree with this. What I'm about to say is, like, they're actually quite fickle, so they'll just jump from one part into the yeah, next they will. if they want to. So. And um, the best thing to do if that happens is, that's why you want to have all six of your your other guys, or the other four guys, because you can just throw Extend that male. Yeah. yeah, and you can just throw them back in, and they'll repair, yeah. and then sort that stuff out. Yeah. So. And just so you guys know, if you want any angelfish that we've bred, Go have a look at keepingfishsimple.com. I'll put it into the description below. Um, I think at the moment you've got some Altums. Got the Altums, I've got Koi's, and we've got Dark Marbles on the way, so. Yep. So, more variety to come though. Yeah, So way more variety, as you saw. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, go check that out. He's got heaps of other fish, so. Yeah. Here's some more little fry, if you guys want to see. Yeah, so what, fry, what variety of fry do you have at the moment? I think these are both Altums. Yeah. I've got a lot of Altums, they bred a ton. Um, these might, I think I've only got Angels. Maybe these are better, but... Anyways, I guess that's everything that needs to be said. Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, yeah thanks Nick for, <laughs> no, for sorry, filming. Yes. And yeah, it's always a really awesome time here at the fish room. So, sweet. we'll have to do something at my fish room as well soon. Alright, sweet. Okay. Thanks everyone, see ya.